Well, the Martindale Brightwood community, uh, leaders there are kicking off a plan to develop the community one block at a time. Breaking ground this morning on six new affordable townhomes on the east side of Indianapolis. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has the story. The Garden Town Homes Development Program has been in the works for three years, and representatives say Indiana ranks pretty high on the list when it comes to out-of-state property owners. So a major part of this plan is rebuilding the neighborhood without displacing the residents. And I want to say good morning to everyone. A lot can change in 56 years, and Elizabeth Gore has been in Martindale Brightwood to see it all. I am excited right this moment. She, along with everyone else here, is looking forward to the next chapter in this community's story. Six new affordable townhomes will eventually fill this lot. I am so excited that it's right in our community and that it's going to give people the opportunity to have ownership. And I want to see it firsthand myself. That's why I came over here that it's just not talk. You know, they're actually doing it. The Martindale Brightwood Community Development Corporation for three years has worked to bring this project to life. A long list of donors are helping make it possible, constantly aware of the benefits of growth without the harms. We want mixed income. That is the best thing for a community. So we have to balance it out where we can keep some affordable housing, preserve it, and then um, have some new stock. There is a lot of community investment. Quincy Murphy grew up in this community and started his business. Shift Development Group here, they are the builders. Very critical because uh, this, you know, this neighborhood, like a lot of communities in the city, is uh, greatly impacted by you know poverty and a lot of other systemic things that uh, providing more affordable housing uh, um, helps to address. As the community copes with long-standing disparities, other problems are growing. There has been a rise in real estate grab-up. Most people who experience things coming in the mail to buy their homes is not for sale. And actually, Indianapolis is, uh, I think, the city with the most out-of-state landlords. Rebuilding won't stop here. Other funding is available to make repairs to other homes along this block. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.